Hey guys, in this video, we will get a foundation knowledge on how do you use API. What is API and how to use that in Python? Everything in detail, step by step, we are going to learn. So the very first step to learn API is to first go to this specific website using which we will get the API, what is an API, everything we will understand. First of all, what you do on your browser, simply type open weather map org. Okay. So once you are done, then we will proceed to the next step. So I hope you have opened the open weather map dot org. Simply type open weather on Google, you will get it. Now, once you are there on the home page, you need to sign in. Do you see my name has appeared? Same way you need to simply sign in using your Google email or any other email address. Sign into this. Once you have signed in, what would happen? You will get a API. So what is this API? So if you see, there is something called my API keys. So you have to click on this specific button to get the keys. So let's first understand what is this API? API is just a URL. Like if I ask you to open Facebook, you type facebook.com and open the page, right? And you see some information. Same way, this API is a URL. Now, if I use that URL inside my code, it will not have a graphical user interface. Generally, when you type a website URL, you see a graphical user interface. But this is doing things in the background. For that, you will have an API URL using which we can get the data what we need. So you will have more understanding as we proceed further. So the very first step is you went to the web page and then you have signed in. After that, you will go to my API keys. So let me click on my API keys. Now, once you are on the page, you will find something like this. Okay, this is the key called API key. So what is the use of the API key? Everything we will understand. First of all, let's do step by step. Let's copy this API key. Go to a notepad and simply paste it. So this is my API key. This is the first thing we need. Now the second thing what we need is the URL. For that, again, go back to the web page. Here you find something called API. Click on this API. Okay. So once you click on this API, slightly scroll down. Here you find something called current weather data. Okay. So go here and click on this API doc. Once you click on that, this is the page what you will see. Now simply on the right hand side, go here. There is something written called built in API request by city name. Now things are not clear. I will make it pretty clear. Just follow the, the steps. Click on this built in API request by city name. Okay. So I said API is a URL. So once you click on this, it will bring you this page. Now the very first, see city name, okay. The very first URL that you see, city name, API ID, API key, just copy this and go to the notepad. So we got two very important things. One is the URL and then the API key. Now let's see how we can use this in Python. So are you ready? Let's get started. The very first thing we have to import a library. So the library name is JSON. This is one library. Now you have questions. What is this library? The other library is request. These are the two libraries we need. Now what are libraries? If I ask you, you need to paint a car. If you paint a car, then what are the tools you need? You need color. You need a brush. You might need hand globes and a couple of other things. So you, you need multiple different tools for you to paint a car. Same way for us to build a code in Python, we would need multiple libraries. These are nothing but set of tools using which we will build our code. Now as a very first step, you need to import these two libraries. Clear? Have you written it? Very good. Let's move on. The next thing is because here what is our, what we are going to do with the API. So let me tell you what we are going to achieve. We will use the API to 
fetch temperature of a city for what we are using this api we are using this api to fetch temperature of a city that is our goal now when it comes to city you need a city name right which for which city goa bangalore mumbai pune what is the city name london so you need a city so for that what we will do is we'll simply create a variable called city underscore name equals to and i'm going to ask this as an input from the user so that user types it for example if i am saying enter a city name getting it now just by writing this code if you run it what's going to happen it's simply going to prompt you enter a city name so if i'm typing goa what would happen the city name variable now will hold the data in goa pretty simple okay so this much is understood let's move on this is one thing now to make a api call we also need something called api key so let's create a variable called api underscore key slowly you go and each line you need to understand so this is a variable which i have created api key you can give any name you want so here i'm using the snake case to write the variable name so api underscore key now if you remember in our notepad we have got this key this key i'm going to delete after this demo because you should not expose your key to others so i'm going to delete this particular key once we have used in this video so let me hit on enter similar way you should not share your key with others okay so if you have shared please delete it for learning purpose you have used it and delete it so that nobody will misuse it so we got the api key great now let's look at the url we got a url right the api url so i am saying api underscore url equals to we had got this entire url right so simply what you do copy this entire url go back and paste it here now when it is a big url because it's a string right this is nothing but a string so to have this string like this we have to simply say f okay and then put a single quote start and end. f is formatting okay we'll keep it on in, in a format so that the variable can accept this entire string okay because there are so many forward slashes and so many things are there inside there's also a variable also right so because of that you have to use something called f or format string now here our variable is slightly different city underscore name so what we will do just replace this with city underscore name and here it is in small case we have written right so simply replace with your own variable done now let's understand this line number eight in the line number eight what we are doing we are going to this url but with a specific city name that the user is going to enter so that value will come here let's say we are entering goa or mumbai or pune or london that exact name will come here because this is a variable okay then the api key so we this api keys are just like password it is very individual to you okay that's why i told you not to share this api key with others soon after this video recording i am going to delete it so this is the api key i am going to place it over here so this is the variable which is going to hold that so the value will come here so at the end what exactly we are passing if i ask you how we are passing the data we are actually passing the data something like this let me show you in the notepad so here instead of city we are simply passing let's say goa and then the api key we are passing something like this okay so what you are exactly passing you are passing this entire thing okay now if i so this is the entire thing we are passing if i you will get a question that is what would happen if i use this url and simply paste it in my browser and hit on it now so what is happening you are actually receiving a data coming from the server if you see if i slightly enlarge this you will see lot of data are coming 502 rain there is a rain in goa heavy intensity rain can happen right now okay and the temperature uh, temperature is coming in a very different format do you see 298.8.36 now this is not understood what is this 298.36 maybe in fahrenheit so how do i get it in degree celsius that is another question 
for that let's go back to the open weather website and here for temperature there is a parameter that we have to pass called units what is the parameter units so what are the units you can get the temperature in fahrenheit you can get the temperature in degree celsius if you click on this learn more link you will see it tells you if you want to get it in celsius use units equals to metric what do i have to use units equals to metric okay now the question is how do i add this another parameter simply to add any parameter we simply write a ampersand symbol and then as they have defined i will say simply units equals to and i'm going to say metric getting it metric fine now let's see let's use this url and see if the data is coming or not okay so i'm going to select this entire url copy this and see last time it has come like this right i'll open a new tab and going to paste this url hit on enter now look at it what happened now it came in degree celsius do you see 25 degree 0.21 getting it okay so now our final url looks like this which are also has something called un and ampersand units equals to metric so let's copy this go back to our code and at the end of this right i'm going to simply paste it done so now what we have done here we have built the api to build the api url we have done this is it clear is this things are clear great now let's move on now in python in the browser it is quite easy you got the link and you copy pasted the link here and you got some output it's a huge output actually to read i'm going to explain that how do you get a specific data from the entire set of data here in python how will you do it you can't you don't have a browser like this right so in python to do it we will use this tool do you remember we have imported two libraries one of them is request library i am going to use that request library below here so how to do that so what i am trying to achieve i am trying to get information from the server so i am going to get server information okay so this is just a variable which are created you can give your own names okay so i what i got i simply wrote get server information okay so how will i get it i don't have a browser to type so in python it is quite simple all i have to do is simply say this request so this is a toolkit right i told you library so i say request dot get okay get from where from this url and this url is stored in the api underscore url variable so let's write this api underscore url variable is it clear so what is going to happen this get server information you can have a short variable i'm just writing it so that it makes more meaning while i'm explaining you can keep a or b or any proper variable you would like to have so i got this get underscore server information as the variable now this variable contains what this entire data right the entire data you saw this this is what this would hold but if you simply print like it for example if i'm going to print uh, get underscore server information variable if i'm simply printing let's see how the output would come generally there won't be much output if i am saying goa going to hit on enter it is only saying response 200 so what happened in the browser when we wrote this url it gave so much of information now when i'm doing it in the python it is not showing any information actually it contains lot of information for which you have to write another line of code so to see the information let's write something like this i will say print get server information which contains everything lot of information like header it will have status code it will have the actual content there are a lot of things inside this so i am saying get server information that is the variable dot and i'm going to say json so this is another tool we have imported on the top if you see right so this tool i'm using here get server information dot json now if i'm going to run this and say goa 
and you can see what happened now it has printed all this data do you see it has printed lot many data clear now how, let me copy this data and show it to you in a notepad so i'll click on home and shift key and click on end copy this let's paste it inside a notepad so what happened the same information that you saw in the browser right the same thing is also available over here do you see the temperature has dropped slight a bit 24.41 um, feels like sorry 24.41 yeah here it is so this is how it has come it is giving you the real data so it has the data has come finally so let's do one thing because we don't want to really print it here we'll simply assign it to a variable let's say the variable is um, data i'll create a variable called data equals to and i'm going to have this inside data so till now what you have understood how to fetch the data through the api so finally what you have got the output you have got the output something like this if i am going to simply say print data what is the final output that we have got we have got this output that it come so let me you can type any other city for example bengaluru if i'm typing hit on enter you can see so this is our output this data is our output which i have shown in the notepad now the question comes rakesh it has got so much of data i cannot really read it it is quite disturbing right while reading you have too much of data now this data if i ask you to read uh, you can read it but again it is slightly difficult so the next thing that we are going to learn in our next video is how can i put it in a pretty format in a proper format so that i can read it so that is known as json pretty format so how to do that i am going to teach you in my next video so stay tuned and please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it already and give it a like to the video if this video has helped you thank you let's meet once again in our next content so thank you guys for watching your support is very much required please do subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on every video that you are watching simply say done give it a like and do share with your friends who would like to learn from our channel thank you again you have a great day